All right. So I got all the I got all the wake stones I need. So, um, <clears throat> here rather than even going all the way back out, what I can do is I can eternal fairy stone up to Grand Soren, and then I can literally just go down some steps and be exactly where I need to be. <laughs> Brand Stoker. I mean, Soren. <laughs> Bram Stoker. <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> All right, let me get my helm off because I ain't, I don't need it anymore. We want to look cool for the cutscenes. I have a scar across my nose. That's why I wear a helmet. Yeah, now. it's a fucking uh, it's a fucking gut scar from Berserk. Except a lot bigger. It's sad that the one guy died. They're still making chapters, man. Are they? The dude, the, the guy, the, his like partner is like, um, just go. To, yeah, he took it over, and he's saying that Berserk will finish up within the next ten years. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, <laughs> I was hoping for it to be a little sooner than that, but can you move to like five? Well, it's whatever. When I'm forty one, I think I think if nothing else, they've got the ideas down. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of because I mean, just exactly. obviously, obviously, illustrating all that shit is like yeah, crazy. it takes a while. Especially if you see, like, I don't know if you've read it, but, like, the art style has, like, developed so much over the course of Berserk. Like, it, I've seen a lot of the old stuff, and you can tell, like, it's yeah, of, it's kind of the time. and Yeah, but the newer shit looks, looks a lot better. fucking insane, dude. Like, it, it, they do way much, like, way like more detail than is needed for a manga. Like, it's crazy. All right. So we go into this, like, alternate plane dimension here. Is this going to be, like, Dark Souls, where you just beat up a worm? Like, uh, you mean at the end of Demon's Souls? Yeah, sorry, Demon's Souls. Uh, no. Just go over and beat up a werewolf. Well, and yeah, like, yeah okay. just listen to what this asshole has to say. Okay. What if I don't want to be the keeper <laughs> of the world? So basically, we're just meeting God. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fuck God up. But what if I just want to be a part of it? Dick. Wow, so he blasted me away with a wave of his hand. He must be very strong. <laughs> that little lick lip that you do. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be like, I, I know that that means, oh, you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Watch this. All right, just one shot him. <laughs> That was just a standard light attack. I just fucking one shot him. <laughs> it's and honestly, like I know, like all right, I'm a one like whatever level my character is, and like I'm doing a new game plus. But seriously, like even one on shot. this, even on the first like time you play this, you could hit him like twice and he's done. And then you I just have to have a larger fucking health pool. I don't know. Well, and this, then you that's just what I'm saying. Listen like, to him. Yeah, this is the this is the last. Uh, boss of the game, or like this last segment is like the last boss of the game. Not the, this part isn't the final boss necessarily, but this is where it gets all heady, where it's like, <clears throat> I got this goo ball. Consider the infinite potential. Like he's a he's like basically god of the world. <laughs> I know I'm god, and like you took me out one shot, but like My basketball got a little moldy over yeah. the summer. <laughs> this Oops. is you. Look at those tits. Now you're gonna fight yourself. Okay. Why, why the gratuitous tit shot? So am I going to just have to go over and whack you again? Yeah. <clears throat> In just a second here. Then he's going to keep talking about whatever the fuck he's talking about. And just stand around, basically. Can you, can you one-shot him if you punch him? I don't know. So was that just a visage, or was that an actual being that you wheeled into existence? Yeah. Like, which one is it? Like, just to demonstrate your that power. You can, yeah. yeah. That you can also one-shot something. <laughs> yeah, like, I too am capable of one-shotting something. <laughs> but only in a cutscene. Because <laughs> once we're actually, like, going to fight, and I stop waving my hands at you... Yeah, let me see if I can... Yeah, just take off your sword real quick. Yeah, just go fucking punch him in the face. Oh, sorry. 
Oh! I still, like, took a third of his health away. Yeah. This dude's a whip. Two, yeah, three shots. <laughs> Come here, motherfucker. Now this is a fight. Yeah, if this were like if it were like a fist fight like fucking <laughs> old man fight at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, then we'd be we'd be into something. It just Yeah, like a fucking shitty swing oh, too. I broke my fucking arm. And then you just listen to him talk. <laughs> is it three times? No. Oh good. No, there is a there is an actual like end boss thing, but it, it's it's basically the same thing. But you'll see it in a minute. Okay. Oh, I killed him. Oh, oh he's no. dead. <laughs> I killed Gosh in this fucking featureless plain existence. We killed him a long time ago. Oh, it's me. Oh, I'm Gosh. Oh, I have to kill ourselves. Bosh, my Gosh. Ash, gosh, my God, bosh. And then there's this cloud tunnel that he makes with all the people from my life. When you claim your right or your wizard, or oh, what if he had a lisp? <laughs> he couldn't pronounce ours. <laughs> <laughs> or would you seek the wife? Just so on your foot after of a familiar <laughs> with. <laughs> this is what I mean me to live. <laughs> Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful dwarf. <laughs> I was born in the image of what man should have been. <laughs> Everyone with a wit. Yours alone. <laughs> Giving someone right. a wit is right. the best way. I'm gonna just let this episode run long, just fuck it. Yes, we're like at the end. we're right at the end of the Step game. Step forward and put your emptiness into false space. So then, yeah, he materializes all the people from my life, and then okay. they like try to they say a bunch of dumb shit to me. So basically, you're doing like the uh, you're doing the the Metal Gear so Solid he, three uh, well, when you thing. kill people's uh, right fight. sort of. But here's the thing: so they actually do give you a choice with this. There actually is a couple of endings to this game. So like the one ending is like yeah, when you're per when you're faced with the dragon and he gives you the bargain, you can take the bargain, right? And then you just leave. <laughs> Instead of fighting him, Duke. and then you become Duke, and then the ending cutscene is like your person is like on the throne, and they look all mad and whatever. Okay. Um, and then same thing here, you can't. He gives you the option to just leave, so you can. So he's gonna come at me, Mason. Dead. Oh my fucking clavicle! <laughs> so like, there's a version of me back there, and you can see like that's like the my hometown or whatever. So I can go back and just live a life of boredom. But, or you can fight God one last but we're, time. Yeah, I'm going to go fucking fight God. Here's the Dragon Forge. There's oh, Salamat. Oh, fuck. There's Salamat. Here's Mercedes. That's my beloved. Yo, what up? It's Ben's here. It's time to fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the Duke, Edmund, and Fisty. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what's this dude's name? I forget his name. Julian. 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 My name is Julian. I'm here to fight. Here's old Duke for some reason. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't. There's, uh, what's his name? I didn't even oh, get I... to talk to you. <laughs> I forgot his name. Adaro. He's the head of the village and Kina's dad. Oh my god. <laughs> There's Madeline. Oh my god. You're killing the women and children. So <laughs> Here's Kina. Please, I, just, like I just want to leave. Oh my god. But just, I was just gonna run. I'm gonna run past you, okay? Just don't swear. So he's, <laughs> so I don't know. He's trying to like guilt us into like going back because we have to kill all of our loved ones, I guess. Even though half of those people, I'm like, I don't really have a relationship with any of you people. The only people I remember here is Mercedes Benz and Duke, and like the guy who tried to murder. Oh, me. And the jester. Who can forget the jester? Oh, yeah, the jester. Fisty. So so then he pulls off his shit. <laughs> so here, here's the deal. Here's how this works. The first time you play through it, this part, mm -hmm. you are you play or you fight against the main guy that you played as in, in the intro. Okay. Because the implication is that he did this whole process yeah. before. And now but now this is actually shot. this is actually another player character's character model because I'm doing a I'm doing a, a new game plus or whatever. Oh, okay. So it's not and, and, still, and still I one shot him. So it doesn't make any fucking difference. <laughs> why are you why are you 
<laughs> what are you holding on? Because then that's how you kill him. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's so that's another player character's character. You just fucking wrecked him. Yeah, but see, like it's not even a fight. Yeah, it's not even a fight. The thing is, is like you can. I'm pretty sure if you get hit by him, he does kind of do a lot of damage. But like getting hit by him is kind of difficult, <laughs> especially when you can walk up and go. Yeah. All I've done was to test your will to see if you can inherit the earth. Did you see this fucking chair behind me? It is so uncomfortable. Are you sure you want this job? Yeah. So the idea is that it's like an endless cycle. So after, even if after I become the god of this world, is called the Seneschal. Yeah. Then someone else is gonna come. Then up like and another. Be like, yeah. Then like another dragon will come and like and like choose an arisen, and then they will be like tested to yeah, like go and do, do the this. same thing. And then one day you're gonna be giving a speech and get one shotted. <laughs> <laughs> So then he retrieves the God's Bane blade, which makes no sense because that's what I received after I had killed the dragon. So I don't know why he's giving it to me now, because I already have it. I thought that was the dragon's bane. Nope. Uh. Nope, this is the God's Bane blade. <laughs> the fuck, dude? I'm trying to tell you the lore of this game. <laughs> You're just over here farting. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here just shitting all over it. As the, as the kids say. <laughs> no cap. No, no cap. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, no I'm assuming... Uh, oh, okay. No lie? Yeah, no lie. I would assume that it means no limit. <laughs> but but because that's what would make sense. Brian, the black guy at my work, who I, is my co-worker, he uh, told me, he's like, ah, oh, no, no cap is no lie. His son taught him that. Oh, that's stupid. So, um, with this... Yeah, I'm the Sovereign. I am... So he wants to get... He's like, get me the fuck out of this shit. I don't want to be the fucking <laughs> lord of this world anymore. Yeah, like, that was so 2000. So, so the thing is, is, like, you can ask him all of these questions. Like, oh. it's just, like, I don't even really know that it's exposition. It's just kind of a bunch of bullshit. They're just trying to fill out the... Yeah, the lore a little bit. So yeah. what is the Seneschal? Whatever. It's basically your god. You're overseeing the world, more or less. I'm not going to do all that. Why do you need to tell me? Aren't I going to get Omnipians? Yeah. Like, once I murder you? So here we go. We kill him. We stab him with the blade. Check it out. <sighs> of this unending circle. Wouldn't it have been cool if it, like... And just go like through him. Yeah, right. there. Yeah. And he's just like split in half and he's Ray talking to you. <clears throat> or you you cut Shit. off his hand. <laughs> you cut off his hand. He's, he's like, like ah, ah, fuck. I'm sorry. And then you do it again and you cut off his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I can live as like the my final quest is to live as the Seneschal. So what you do is if you sit on the throne, you can do this little this thing. This become an RTS game? No, no. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, you just run around as like a little ghost of yourself in your hometown. I don't know why. But it allows you to do that for some reason. Okay. And then can you like push people around or something? Push a little children. No. Nope. You just okay. phase right through them. So then if I leave, I go back to my throne. All right. And then we have the crazy idea. The craziest idea. To, to just fucking leave, right? Use the God's Bane blade on ourself, mother trucker. <laughs> Why didn't this guy? It's already yeah! inside me. Yeah! And then my pawn is like, Why did you do that, you motherfucker? <laughs> and then it's apparently it's stuck in here. <laughs> yeah. And then she's yeah. like, I wanted to kill you. I wanted to kill you. Ever so now here's, here's, the, here's how it ends. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> just person stands there. It's just, you wait like for... <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, oh man, this fucking sucks. Why is everyone keep doing... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the only like the only other time that your pawn says anything within like a cutscene. Alright, so now we're back in like the Everfall, I guess. 
Well, at least you know you'll just teleport back up to the top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's closing. Oh, no. No, see, now we're falling back into, like, the real world. <gasps> that must be where the dragon gets born, though. I hate it with all of myself comes into myself. Yeah, I that think, would be like cement, though. Yeah. You guys just fucking I died. think what ends up happening, I forget how it really operates, but what can end up happening, I think, is, like, if you get defeated by the dragon or, like, by the seneschal, you you become the next dragon oh. or something like that. <laughs> well, something to that effect. So I think at this point, technically, within the world, like, the cycle would be ended. Because it's like Cause nobody can, because yeah, because nobody can be born of like the of the dragon. The rules and like the story don't really make the most sense, and they don't really explain it super well. But it's something like that. Like okay. if you, um, if you there's kill, a, if God kills himself, he can't yeah. have anyone challenge him. Yeah, but the thing is, is like yeah, like <laughs> certain arisen can become the dragon more or less. That's what happened in the anime. The guy became the dragon at the end. Became the dragon balls. Because yeah. it's like the dragon is born out of like Arisen, I guess, or something like that. So it is it's some kind of like cyclical Yeah. Someone thing. eventually becomes the dragon, then he starts telling other Arisen, hey, you want my deal, or but you like not, the thing- and then you go fight God, and <laughs> but then the God thing- kills himself. The thing is with, like, the dragon is, like, his whole purpose is just to antagonize everybody into killing him. Yeah. Like, that's not, like, he doesn't really have, like, an ultimate end goal as to, like, it's not like he's I'm going, going to, bleh, I'm going to fuck the world. Like, he just is, like, doing it just to, like, piss everyone off. Every hole yeah. is the goal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, excuse just, me, dragon? <laughs> So it's like, yeah, this like that, like, and that's the thing. I feel like the story could have been a little bit better had they had the time to flesh it out. Because mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, they didn't really like none of those themes come through until like the last section. Yeah, of they're the just game. like, okay, uh, we got to give this game a meaning. Uh, fuck it here. Yeah, because then like, how do you go from fighting a dragon to all of a sudden fighting God? Well, you didn't want the dragon to fuck everyone because as it said, every hole's the goal. Yeah. So. Yeah. He was going to do that across the world. Mystic Knight, bitch. Yes. Mystic Heroes. 77 hours on this file, okay? Cool. 70 Costco. Costco. That's oh. when Costco gets her mind back. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to make this cool pose. I just dropped like a huge spoiler for Berserk <laughs> in a way, but not really. <laughs> You really should read it if you're interested. It's really good, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. I would prefer to watch it. Like if there's, you're not gonna get the you're not gonna get the whole story yeah, firstly, no. but then also, I've heard that the adaptations of the later arcs are really bad. So, <laughs> no, reading it's just as good. It's it's really good. I I recommend it. Who did that? Who shot it? <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. So here, we, that's it, Billy. That's Dragon's Dogma. And that's still, I mean, we haven't touched on the bitter black part of the game. I mean, we played a little bit of it, but uh, that that in itself is kind of like its own story in a way. But the way in which that game operates, I, I'm sure, I know I showed it to you before, but you like are trying to progress deeper into this island or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like eventually there's kind of like sh- shortcuts that loop back into like the hub. Yeah, or, or, like the Dark main, Souls, Yeah, right? to the main area, so to speak. And then once you reach the end, you fight the boss of, like, the island. And then, again, it loops another shortcut back to the beginning. And then, just because they have to, there's, like, a post-game in that, too. And you have to do the whole thing again. (laughs) I think they switch up the monsters, I I think, on the second time through. Um, And then the final boss is basically the same as the first time, but then he's got a second phase, which is, like, really uh, annoying. I mean, you had a lot of mages. It's like the it's third only show, mage. It's only showing fucking mages, man. I don't know. It's it, a cool looking book, though. Yeah. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they got all these like runes and shit. Like, what are those? Yeah. Like, I want like some. I want some lore in this game. They're gonna like, give me world. like a, a whole text thing, and then you're gonna be like, oh, "There's too much text. I don't want to read it all." I don't know. Like, I think there's something about like. I think what it is for me is like a lot of the stuff in like cyberpunk is kind of like fillery. 
But like something like this, there's at least some intrigue into like, like if there was something explaining like root, like you know, an area or like a specific phenomenon that happens in the game. I think if you leave enough mystery as to what you know is occurring within the world, like and have enough intrigue, then I'm more interested in that. But I don't See, know. It's it's the same thing, but the difference is that Cyberpunk has a lot of stuff a oh, lot yeah. of story well this one doesn't have much. yeah and that's yeah, so I think anything that's yeah. added to this is better because then it actually it flushes it out more all that kind of stuff yeah it feels more substantial but anything yeah. that is added to cyberpunk it's bloating it feels extra yeah <laughs> i think that's a good way of putting it because yeah. there's already so much in right cyberpunk right it's, it's kind of an overload oh, billy is cyber spunk i thought it was cyber crunk <laughs> <laughs> Cyberfunk. Actually, I'm pretty sure there is a game called Cyberfunk. There's probably something called Cyberdunk, too. <laughs> yeah, so, or, oh, so, there's something like that. There's some company, some studio made a fucking uh, new game. I think, yeah, it's like Cyberfunk or something. And it's like Jet Set Radio <laughs> Future. It's like the exact same thing. No. Because Sega make, won't make one, so yeah. somebody else did. Someone else is like, fuck yeah. it, I'm going to make them. Yeah, myself. somebody else, like another company made it. <laughs> Which is cool. I don't think there's a post credit scene, so I'm just going to skip this. So Set the Duke's clothing on fire. Yeah, I don't think there's a post credit scene, so we're done. Saving content, <laughs> Yeah. Now, Billy, let me ask you the all important question. Do you want to see any of the Bitter Black Isle stuff on this or no? Because the Dark Arisen content is pretty sick. But I'm just saying, like, if we were to ever to return to this game. and Before film, the next one comes out? Maybe. Yeah, if we have time. I don't know. Yeah, if we have time. I don't think it's going to happen since... Uh, Probably not. But Snow is coming and the game is actually coming pretty quick, too. Well, when it's going to be March, May? March 22nd. Next year or this year? Well, like, obviously. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, next year or the next next year? No, 2024. Okay. Yeah, so. I don't if it was 2025, you'd be like, what the fuck, dudes? Yeah. Really? But Capcom, Cap, they've been doing a lot better with that. They announced they games have. at a proper interval rather than. And Capcom's been, you know, getting some pretty good hits. Yeah. With all the, uh, the Resident Evil remakes. I agree. The only one that was kind of meh was three. Yeah, and that's because three, three overall is kind of meh yeah. as a game. Well, then it was a good remake. <laughs> I was kind of meh on on Village too. Like it was good, but like it felt more like an uh, like a DLC than a yeah actual like new like, full new game. Like it wasn't bad. It felt too short. Oh. Like seven felt a lot longer. Yeah, I like how I'm just hopping right back in. <laughs> yeah, just going. Do I have to play the opening part again? I don't think so. Who's playing the drums down there? It's probably my computer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're children. Oh my god, there's a huge dragon! <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that the, the kids actually brought the dragon here. Yeah. They're like, come on, dragon. No, We're down. Sit down. You're not being very nice. Bad dragon. <laughs> Bad dragon. I have heartburn. Well, there you go, everyone. We've beaten the... Oh, shit. Shit, shit. My ass. Beat it up. Beat it up. You got him. Oh. You said I beat him the one time. I can do it again. Do it again. You See, he doesn't have a heart for me to hit, though. See? That's true. So it's just going to take longer. I'm sure you can do it, though. As long as you don't get hit. I got a lot of health. I'll be fine. Yeah, um, that yeah that's this game done. Now that you've experienced, you're caught up on the story <laughs> of Dragon's Dogma in time for the sequel. Oh my god, you're so tiny. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Alright, well next time on Chin Step Chaps, we, uh, we finished uh, Star Fox. <laughs>